Adventure. Adventure, intrigue, mystery, romance, starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Together in the sultry setting of tropical Havana and the mysterious islands of the Caribbean. Bold Venture. Once again, the magic names of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall bring you Bold Venture and a tale of mystery and intrigue. Now in Havana, there is a small hotel. From here to there, they come pell-mell. No elevators or curtains of lace is known all over as Shannon's place. <laughs> you like that, Mr. Slick? Oh, sure do. Do you have another verse, King? Every time, Miss Sailor. Look, we've got work to do. If you don't mind, I'd like to get on with it. Huh? Right now, we mind. King's in a singing mood. Go ahead, King. Mr. Shannon, he run this small hotel. He man who like Havana so well He would rather starve in this city Than have a million dollars in Cincinnati <laughs> Thanks, King. Now it's your turn, Whit. Go ahead. Well, we've been sitting here for three hours now talking about it. All I'd like you to do is say yes or no. What'd I say, sailor? Yes or no? Well, I'd like it. It's a thing I've always wanted to do. If you want my opinion, Mr. Slate... Sure. I've heard stories like this before. Spanish gold. Nothing ever happens. Down in the barrio, secret treasure maps get sold all day long. I know the man who draws them. The man just made a point, Whit. I beg your pardon, and, and yours, too. Because I'm not making myself clear. Look, I have nothing so tangible as a map. All I have is this knowledge that on the island in Flamingo Cay, there is Spanish gold. And this you learned in college. That's right. Now, you people don't have to smile about it. Mr. Cheney and I are serious. That's why he sent me to you. You don't have to smile. I wasn't smiling. Thank you, Mr. Val. Let's see the charts again. <laughs> sure, sure, Mr. Cheney. Now, look. See? Your boat could make it easily right, right through the Bahama Channel and along the banks, eh? Uh, here. Here's Flamingo Cay, about 30 small islands. Now, this one. Here, here's one. Due south of Exmouth Sound. Here's a nickel slate. Yeah. Heads we go, tails we don't. Tails. Tails we don't. I said two out of three. <laughs> That's right, you did. Heads. One more. Heads. Heads we go. We'll start in the morning. We're at about six. Oh, that's swell, swell. I'll see you then, huh? Uh, I don't think I'll be able to sleep. You won't be sorry. Take it easy, boy. Wait. Uh-huh. Did he bite? <laughs> I learned a word for his type in college. Sucker. I want to tell you something, Joe, just between you and me. All right. I feel good. Ah, I feel good all over. Well, I'm glad for you. Yeah, that's a feeling I like. All that loot just waiting for me. For both of us. For both of us. You're a greedy boy, Whit. That's what makes you so useful. But you'll remember something, Whit. Anything you ask me, I'll remember. Anything you tell me, I'll remember. That's good, because it's my party I call the dance. You won't forget now, college boy. <laughs> Joe, tell me more about yourself. Tell me again how a man like you comes on a dream like this. Yeah, I had me a boat once. I tore the insides out of it on a coral reef in Flamingo Cay, and I got ashore. It is like you said, the stuff that glinted on the beach wasn't just sand. You make me young again, Joe. It just lay there teasing me, pirate loot whispering to me in the sun. Then a shadow come over, a guy and his wife. Mr. and Mrs. Mark Bryan? Yeah, a hunk college boy, Mark Bryan and his wife. He told me the island belonged to them. He told me don't touch. He told me fix your boat and go away. I went away. But he won't do that to us again, will he? Uh-uh, college boy. And our sucker, Slade Shannon. 
And that pretty drain that hangs on him. <laughs> what do we do with them, Joe? We use them. Then we lay a Spanish doubloon on their foreheads so they shine in the sun. So the seagulls can find them. Oh, thank you, Joe. I can sleep now. <laughs> I hope you're a good navigator, Shannon. Now don't worry about it. That college boy, Whit, he looks worried, and he's got an education. The bold venture has gotten through barrier reefs before. Hey, look, Cheney, why don't you trail your feet in the water, light a cigarette, or spit into the wind, the things people are supposed to do on a boat? Well, you're a good sailor, Shannon. Look at that island. That's pretty, huh? All that loot, and all you have to do is tie up at that pier. It's pretty small. I'll make it. Five feet here, slave. Shannon. Yeah? It's not a whole lot of room between the bottom of this boat and that coral. Quarter less five. Shawling off, slave. Four. Easy. Ah. Yeah, that does it. We'll tie up here. Maybe. Huh? Look what we got, a committee standing on the beach. It's got a gun, Shanny. What is this? What it is is Mark Bryan and Ms. Bryan. Looking as red-headed as usual. Sailor! Sailor, come here! What is it, Slate? I'll make her fast. I'm going calling. Hey, that looks like a shotgun the man's holding. He couldn't miss with it if he tried. Just make her fast, Sailor. Hello! Get out of here! Your name Brian? And you're Mrs. Brian. My name is Slate Shannon. Hello, Slate Shannon. Get back on your boat and get out of here. I've counted four on your boat. We can put you up. We're lousy with bamboo shacks. I weave them in my spare time. You've come for the gold. It's dug up and put away. I didn't say anything about gold. Who are you trying to fool? That man, him, standing on the pier? Don't you think I know him? (laughs) Joe Cheney. Why don't you just listen for a minute? Listen? You listen. What do you think I... Brian. Oh, Crazy college punk. Shot my husband. What do you know? Someone finally called Mark's bluff. Pick him up, um, Mr. Shannon. As I said, I've got accommodations for everybody. Sorry, Mr. Bryan. Uh, it's all right, my boy. I don't expect you to mend me without some hurt. One more twist of bandage and you... You know, you're a good slave. If I'm ever shot in the shoulder, if I'm ever hit, remind me to call you. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, two weeks and you'll have your shoulder back, Mr. Bryan. Uh, you want me to be grateful? Shall I kiss the hands that heal me? I think we could bear it. Uh, don't misunderstand me, you two. It's only that for me, the difference between living and dying is very slight. I rather wish your friend had potted me into eternity. I'll go get your wife, Mr. Brown. No, no. No. Leave her there with her newfound excitements. Two new men. That can make Lucy very happy. See? This occasion is a rare delicacy for Lucy. Life with me on my island bores her. It's bored her for 12 years. You could have taken her away. Anywhere in the world she wanted to go. And maybe she'd be with you on your head. You mean the gold. The gold you and your friends are so hungry for? <laughs> You're quite right. I could have used it for that. But I have no taste for it. Then this wasn't a college boy's fairy tale. There is gold here, Mr. Bryan. Enough to make all men kneel at your feet, Miss Duval. I need gold for that slate. You heard what the man said. Then listen more to what I say. This is your fee for probing in my shoulder. For trespassing on a world I meant to keep for myself. Wash up, Slate. Get your money and let's get out of here. Not money, Mr. Val. A suggestion. I suggest you and Mr. Shannon take your friends and get off my island. I suggest you forget its existence. I suggest you will never find what you're looking for. (laughs) Except that. Except the sound of death. Good night, you two. Sleep well. 
Done good, college boy. You impressed Miss Bryan, I could tell. <laughs> Redheads and me, Joe, there's an affinity. I tell her the things I do for a girl like her if only I had money, so she whispers in my ear where her husband hit the loot. The other side of the island. Take it, she says. It's yours. And now you go to work on Miss DeVal, that sailor girl, huh, where? Hide someplace where you can watch me, Joe. It'd be a revelation to you. I couldn't live without it. You're on your own, college boy. Now, don't louse it. She'll love every minute of it. Goodbye, Joe. Oh, it's you. I thought You it... have the look of a girl who's sorry she's alone, Mr. Val. As if you were waiting for someone to knock at your door. <laughs> but not me. Right again. Not you. Uh, Mr. Shannon. Slate said he wanted to look around the island. Maybe you'll go find him for me. Uh, no. We've had a nice chat. Good night. You dislike me for shooting Mr. Bryan? I'll find other reasons. Give me time. Anything you ask, Mr. Val. I thought that if you're really tired of being alone, we could go for a walk. Tropic moon, the surf. Sometimes a girl wants things like that. Go beat on another shack, college boy. I've got strong sales resistance. Even with this gun in my hand? It could shoot your resistance full of holes, Mr. Val. It could. Why don't we walk, Mr. Val? You and I. Sailor! Sailor, get decent and open the door. I thought maybe you'd like to walk. Walk right in. Huh? Walk right in, Shannon. Don't ever argue with a forty-five. Walk. Good. Turn around, Shannon. What did you do with Sailor? Bite your lip, kid. Bite it hard. <clears throat> you stay unconscious too long, Shannon. You rot. Come on, come on, Slate. Oh, you'll have to do better than that. What the... Ah, well, that's better. Huh. Open your eyes. Yeah. Yeah, help me up. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks. Where's Sailor? In the boat. I guess she's in the boat. Look out the window. Huh? Yeah, Hey, the boat... Gone? That's right. She's in the boat. Only the boat's gone. To Bold Venture, our stars Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, and the second act of our story. She said it would be here. She said all we have to do is dig right here. That redhead crossed me off. Keep your sweat for the digging, college boy. It'll be here. I said dig. Maybe if he digs hard enough, it'll turn out to be his grave. <laughs> You're real funny, Mr. Val. You run a boat good, and you're real funny. What did you do to Slate? Oh, did I forget to tell you? I hit him on the head with the butt end of this forty-five. It must have hurt him because he didn't talk back. That's what I'd done with Slate. You dig for a while, Joe. I want to tell a lady about the splendors of where we are. Little known facts. She'll enjoy it. I'll do that, college boy. Maybe it'll do something for me, too. This lagoon you sail us into, Mr. Valley, it's really just a saltwater lake filling up a hole that used to be a volcano. 
Imagine that. And all of this, this cove with these sheer cliffs all around, rising up into the sky like a cry for help. Stunning, isn't it? It makes me weep, the sheer stunningness of it. And that hurricane hovering over us like a black-winged bird. But it won't touch us here. Because Mother Nature built this place so no storm could touch it. M is for the million things. And on the other side of the island, you're Mr. Shannon. The redhead, her husband, all at the mercy of a tropical hurricane and no place to hide. Will you cry for Mr. Shannon, oh, son? I, I found it, kid. It's here. Just like she said, it's all here, wrapped in an old sail. Uh, let me look at it, Joe. Get out of the way so I can look at it. We're through here, kid. Yeah. Yeah. Make the boat ready, Mr. Val. We're sailing away from this lovely place. Wrong again, college boy. What? The black-winged hurricane, remember? The one you were telling me about? Boats die in it, even with me sailing them. Joe, she's right. We wait here till it blows away. <laughs> I don't mind, Joe. I don't mind a bit. I got the gold to keep me warm. And the whole thing strikes you funny. Well, consider it, Shannon. Look at it the way I do and join me in a big, fat laugh. Yeah, I know. It's about your husband. You're getting a reaction from his shoulder wound. Him? Lying in our shack, drinking up all this tropical paradise? Him? Mm -mm. No, nope. You want to know what makes me laugh? You can see it from here. The moon. I can see it. A fire moon. A hurricane moon. <laughs> Hey, look, Mrs. Bryan. It's an intimate time. Say, Lucy, I'll answer you. Where did they take Sailor? Lucy. Where did they take her, Lucy? Now we're intimate and you worry about Sailor. So help me up. You gonna hit me? Go ahead if you operate that way. Cheney and Whit put her on the boat because she can navigate out of this reef. Tell me where they went. The other side of the island. We could cuddle up, make a song out of that. That's where the loot is, isn't it? It's where I help Mark bury it. Ah, now I know what's funny. I'll laugh at you and you laugh at me. That's one way of spending a hurricane. Maybe you're not impressed. That hurricane's really coming. Listen to me, Lucy. I didn't figure it, Shannon. Whenever someone whispers in my ear, I tingle all over. I told him where the treasure was and he ran out on me. We gotta get out of here. None of us is getting out of here. How do we get to the other side of the island? Why? What for? You've got to listen to me, Lucy. The other side of the island, we've got to get there. You know a way, don't you? It's far. We'll get your husband. He can walk. We can't leave him here. It's far. It can't be too far. It's a small island, Lucy. You miss the mood, huh, Shannon? Sure. Sure, I'll take you. All you gotta do is hold my hand. You know something, Joe? What? I'm glad we're down here, not up there. People could die up there on top of the island in that hurricane, and we don't want to die, do we, Joe? That's right, kid. I sit here and I dream of what I can do with all this loot. Makes me shudder. Sends chills down my back. Care to share it with me, Mr. Rock? Maybe I would. What? Because I see you in a new light, college boy. That would be the reflection of all this gold, wouldn't it? That's part of it. Tell me, what else would there be? You, the way you are. The dark things you stir up in a girl once she gets to know you. And when did this wonderful thing happen to me? It began when you came into Shannon's place. It built when you shot Mr. Bryan. And the way you handled me when you made me bring you here in the boat. I liked it. You surprised me. I didn't figure for this kind of girl. No. How do you figure me, Joe? I don't have to, I know. Leave her alone, kid. She's got a point, Joe. It interests me. We uh, burn up dreams, you and me, huh, Sailor? Burn them. Blow the ashes away. Start new ones. Whatever you say. Uh-huh. Joe? What's the matter, you kid? You going crazy? Put that gun away before I slap you across the mouth with it. You won't be able to do that, Joe. I'll tell you why. That's why, Joe. 
Brush your cheek against mine, sailor. I'm in love. You okay, Brian? Yeah, you didn't have to take me. Two of you could make it faster. You lean on me. Leave him alone, Shannon. What's the matter with you? I said leave him alone. Do you love him all of a sudden? Shut up. How much further? Uh, we'll never make it. Never. Down that crater. There's a passageway that leads to the other side. Then we can... That tree! Watch out! Oh! Oh! Mark! Mark! Help me with him. Help me. Oh, it's no use. Help! Come on, Lucy. You can't help him. Lucy! Get out of here! Get out! You can't stay here. I did wrong, Mark. I did wrong in this happened. It's, it's my fault, Mark. It's my fault. He's dead. No. No, it isn't my fault. It's your fault, Shannon. Coming here with that boat. Those men... Get out. Get out, will you, and leave me with my husband. The wind's dying. You'll be all right. Uh, can't you understand? I want to be with Mark. Tell him how sorry I am. Wind's just about gone, Sailor. Let's go see all those pretty places we were going to see. Huh? Maybe we ought to stay around for a while. Maybe the hurricane will start up all over again. No, it never does. Let's go. I think we ought to wait. Come on. Give me a hand with this stuff. Wit. Come on, I said. <laughs> Look at it, baby. How much do you think there is there? I wouldn't know. It would be enough for what we want it for. <laughs> That's a happy sound, Wait a minute. Well, 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 what do you know? Look what the storm blew in. Slate. Slate Shannon, trying to be quiet as a Mars. You're clumsy, Mr. Shannon. Try it with your hands in the air. You all right, sailor? Yes, it's fine. I'm going to have to tell you something, Mr. Shannon. You're going to have to die. I'm going to have to kill you. Let him be, Wit. Just let him be. I asked you something, sailor. I asked you if you're all right. You didn't tell me. Slate, don't come near me. He'll kill you. No, you're wrong. I won't kill him. You'll kill him. You're fond of me, remember? Here, take my gun. Go on, take it. Yeah, that's right. Now shoot him. You're not a very bright college boy, are you, Wit? Phi Beta Kappa. Don't point the gun at me. Point it at him. Go ahead, shoot him. Don't come any closer. Sailor, let him have it. I warned you, Wit. You aren't really fond of me at all, Sailor. Stay where you are, Mr. Shannon. This other gun, Joe's gun, is loaded. All the bullets in the gun Sailor's holding are in Joe. What do you do with us now? Kill us both? Only you. Slate. You tried, Sailor. Pick up that sailcloth with the coins in it. Pick it up, Shannon. That's right. Might as well lead a short and useful life. Now carry it over to the boat. Show them the way, Sailor. That's right. You get your feet wet, but it won't matter. What are you going to do with all this money? Convert it into coin of the realm, then live. <laughs> Sailor helped me plan the whole thing. Dry him off first, Wit. Why, you... Watch it, Sailor. I... I'll tell you... Start holding your breath, Wit. <sighs> what do you know? Short-winded. Slate, you'll kill him. Don't suggest anything, Sailor. Let him up. See? I let him up. He's breathing, too. Maybe they'll put a stop to that in Havana. Sailor. It's pretty. Piece of eight. 
We go on a treasure hunt and we come up with one crummy piece of eight. <laughs> Mrs. Bryan said you could take all you wanted. Well, this is all I wanted. Flip it. What for? Well, it's night. I want to go for a walk on the beach. You never want to take me. All right. Heads, I'll take you. Tails, I won't. Tails, I won't. Two out of three, Slate. Oh. Tails again. Sailor. Uh-huh. Three out of five. Isn't that the way we play it? And so our two stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, have brought to a close our latest Bold Venture story. Special music was composed and conducted by David Rose. May we invite you to listen again next week at this time for another exciting adventure starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall together in Bold Venture. Bold Venture.